guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a hot minute since i posted because i still have to edit this video and i know the time that it'll take me to edit this video it'll be a hot minute since i last posted and i just wanted to apologize in advance i was not feeling my last video whatsoever so let's hope and pray that you guys are watching this video at some point okay 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 I need to calm down because I'm talking too fast. I'm talking too fast. <sighs> I've missed you guys, okay? I love filming. I love editing. And I love posting videos for you guys because you guys seem to really enjoy my content. And it just makes me super happy inside that you guys fuck with it, okay? Before we get started, I just wanted to mention this chapstick this video is not sponsored whatsoever but i just still wanted to talk about it because kapari i believe is how you pronounce this guys this lip balm is so fucking good i cannot express how good this lip balm is it's so good i don't have to apply much and it keeps my lips moisturized for so long like super long by the time that i realized like hey maybe i should put on some more chapstick like i'll check and like it'll still be moisturized so i won't even have to like reapply but i like to anyway and look guys look it's a lip balm but it looks like a lip gloss what what who wouldn't like this okay this the scent the scent is phenomenal i love it it smells like coconuts at first i was wasn't really fucking with the scent i'm not gonna lie but like as i started using it more i fell in love with it it smells so good this is like a, a lip balm that you would wear when you're going to see your boo and you know you guys are going to be kissing like this is the lip balm, okay? I'm not even kidding. Like, it's, it tastes good. It smells good. It feels good. And, like, it's just A1. I got mine from Sephora. You guys can order that on there if you'd like. If you do, let me know how you like it because I love it. And I know you guys will, too. So, let me know if you do. But anyway, um, for today's video, we're going to be filming a kind of get ready with me. I'm going to my uncle's wedding party uh, i bought some clothes at h and m i'm gonna go through like what i do to prepare myself for the beat now i just got home from work so i'm about to hop in the shower i'm going to prep my skin so that i'll be ready for tomorrow i'm also going to shave my legs because i am wearing a skirt but yeah you guys i'm gonna take you guys with me i'm gonna even vlog at my uncle's party because i want to show you guys the event that i'm going to and stuff like that also i'm trying to better myself as a youtuber like i don't only want to be beauty related if you know what i mean i want to do like just me i just want to do me bitch okay i just want to do me that's it that's it that's all i want to do is be me and there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with that at all you don't have to be a specific something you can be a little bit of everything if you'd like okay yeah um also let's see something because the other reason why i wasn't really happy with my last video was because of my background but i just propped this blanket up and it's a background Ooh, beach i need to like iron it because <laughs> it's wrinkly as ever but yeah you guys i'm gonna go hop in the shower it's literally like two in the morning right now and i have all this energy and i'm not sure why see you in the next clip okay, so now we're in my bathroom i'm gonna talk about this razor real quick i got this from walmart joy i'm guessing is what it's called it's a five blade razor it comes in three different colors i believe these razors though are so good they work so well they get really close to the skin without irritating it or 
razor bumps and stuff like that it comes with one razor it has five razor blades and it comes with two cartridges it's from gillette it comes with this like silicone grippy thing so it's like slip proof like literally it won't slip out of my hand like it just won't because there's a grip and packaging is super cute let me show you guys it comes like this and it comes with two um cartridges when you're done with that one you just switch it out to this one and i just keep my razor in the box it's just for sanitary reasons because i just don't like to leave my razor or toothbrush and stuff like that in the bathroom especially because i share it with people and i don't know i just like to keep my personal stuff with me just i guess trust issues i don't know i just wanted to mention this razor because it's super good and i've never tried a razor like this one at least that is meant for like girls because girl razors they suck let's be honest they be giving me razor bumps and just like don't get close enough to the skin but this one this one is super good i love it and i highly recommend you guys get yourself one of these joy razors good morning you guys it is currently the next day of the last clip that you saw i ended up not doing my skin prep last night i waited till this morning <coughs> i waited till this morning to do it and i also didn't wash my hair last night because it was like three in the morning by the time i was like doing all that and it's not good to sleep with wet hair if you guys didn't know so i didn't wash my hair or i didn't do my skin prep i just did my regular schmegular skincare routine i didn't do like the extra stuff but i'm about to do that right now and i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i do to prep my skin i already shaved my legs and y'all my legs are so smooth i wish you guys could see how smooth they feel because they literally like are soft as a baby's bottom i don't know why people use that phrase like it's so weird i'm about to do a face mask real quick because i'm breaking out so bad right now and i honestly i don't know why i have been drinking soda i had a sprite like yesterday so maybe that's why but yeah you guys today is gonna be super fun and i can't wait to start getting ready and show you guys my fit and just take you along with me throughout my day hey so i look a hot ass mess right now but who cares the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to shave my face when i shave my face i like to take this it's called the tangle it's a razor for your face like to get your eyebrows and stuff but I use it for like all over my face. I also use the Aveeno Positively Smooth Shower Shave Gel. And this stuff works so well. It makes me softer compared to other shaving gels and stuff. Like I just really keep going back to this one. And this these razors I order off of Amazon. It comes with like three packets of four of these. If that makes sense, like I order bundles of these because I, I do go through them pretty quick just because I like to keep rotating phrases that I use on my face. But I'm going to start by shaving my face. First off, I'm going to wet my face then apply some of the um, shaving cream to the areas that I'm going to be shaving. I like to shave my face because it just gives me like the perfect canvas to work on when I'm doing my makeup. There's no peach fuzz or... There's just no hair, so like my makeup be going on smooth, sis. So smooth, and I just love the outcome. That's why I shave my face. I'm really just applying the shaving cream all over because I'm shaving my entire face, like literally. I even do it like bring it down to my neck. I shave my neck because I bring down my makeup to my neck, so I just want to make sure that everything is seamless. Just begin to. shave my face I make sure to get really close to my lip because I'll be getting a little peach fuzz 
I remember in middle school, I didn't shave at all. Not even my pits, boo. Like, not even my pits. I just, I don't know. I just didn't shave. Like, I was a fucking kid. But I remember this girl, she made fun of me because I had, like, a little mustache going on. And ever since, I've just been shaving because I've been insecure because this girl was like, hee hee, you got peach fuzz. People are such bullies. I mean, it's all good. I just do it for makeup purposes. If I didn't wear makeup, I would not be shaving my face. And when you get to the forehead, you, you just want to be super extra careful in this area because your eyebrows are up there and you do not want to accidentally shave off your eyebrow because it's happened to me before. Okay, now I finished shaving my face. It's important to always have like a separate rag for your face, like whenever you want to dry it because you don't want to use the same towel that you're using on your body, like on your face, just because like dirt and like oil and shit and just build up, you know, like you don't want that on your face. So I always just use these little um, face rags to dry my face and also I don't rub harshly on my face like I just tap make sure that everything is dry now I'm gonna shave my the inside of my nose my nostrils I don't know about you guys but whenever I take pictures sometimes I'll be like zooming into the pictures and I'll zoom into my nose and I have a little bugger just hanging in my nose I got nose hairs, so like they be sticking to my nose hairs. I don't know. But I like to shave the inside of my nose for that reason because I don't want to fucking take a cute ass pic and then I can't post it. Well, I can obviously edit it, but I don't want to have to worry about. Sorry, my shirt got wet. I don't have. I don't want to have to worry about buggies in my nose. This is the Clio razor. It looks like this it has two sides it has a smaller side and then the longer side i got this razor at walmart in florida i believe so i'm sure they still have this and if they don't have this exact same one they probably have similar ones this has lasted me a pretty long time and it works for what i use it for you know what i mean i used to use it to like shave like around my eyebrows and like my face but it just wasn't cutting it and so i switched to these tinkle razors i saw i love sarah he talk about those tinkle razors hers gonna be looking bomb and i'd be trying to get on her level i'm basically just gonna stick this in my nose i know this is kind of like tmi i guess but you don't have to wash this part if you don't want to i just kind of stick it in there and i rotate it around just be careful when you do do this because you don't want to cut the inside of your nose. But I'm going to be right back. I'm going to do this and then be back. Okay. Now that my nostrils and my face is shaved, I'm going to move on to my skin mask that I was going to do. I'm going to use the Signature Care Deep Cleansing Nose Strips. Nose strips are really known because of Dior. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but it's like a skincare brand. They came out with some nose strips, but I got these ones from Safeway. These are Safeway brand nose strips, and all well, these nose strips work so good. Like, I think even better than the Dior strips because they really be pulling out everything from your nose. Sometimes with the Bior strips, like I'm taking it off and it, it's just like not as much gunk as I thought it would be. But with these, like the first time I tried them out, I was just like, oh my goodness, like that's a lot of like build up in my nose. Like this really just got everything out of my nose. It literally smells like glue. I applied it kind of funky, but it's still on there. It will still do the job. It says to leave it on for until it's dry, until it's stiff. I like to really bring it down like to the tip right here because I do get blackheads right there, like on this area of my nose. I'm gonna start my clay mask mix. So I like to go in with the Money Buddy Detox Clay Mask. This is activated charcoal, coconut, and cacao. 
because I'm already like halfway through. This is their detox mask, so it really like takes out all that gunk that you got in your face. Like I love this mask for that because the results are just A1. You just take a clear container like this and this small little brush. This is from Real Techniques and it's called the Pointed Foundation Brush. I like to just wash the brush off before I go in and use it. I just take some soap, clean the brush. And I also like to clean the container that I'm going to be putting the product in. Not that it's dirty, but I'm just like a clean freak like that. So for the clay mask, I don't like to pour in the clay powder first because I don't know how much I'm pouring in. Lukewarm water to eat to mix my mask and I literally, I don't take much water at all. This is actually too much water. I'm going to pour a little bit out and I'm going to take the mask, pour little by little and then begin to mix the mask. It mixes better than if you were to put in the clay powder in first, in my opinion. And this way you just have like more control of what's going on. So right now it's mixed, but it's super watery. I don't want it to be this watery. So I'm just going to add a little bit more clay and mix this in there as well. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply this everywhere. I even apply it to the, like my neck because I do break out on my neck. I make sure to apply like a generous amount and like an even layer. I like to get really close to my lips because sometimes I do break out around my mouth. I even go as far as putting it on my eyebrows. You gotta do what you gotta do. What can I say? At this point, like, I'm good, but I still have product in here and I don't want to waste it, so I'm just gonna use it. And that's, that's that. That's all I do to prep my skin. I start to do my skincare. I'm gonna show you guys after when I'm done with this mask. That's it for now. I'll be back in a little bit. So, see you in a little bit. So, I'm back. I just got out the shower. I have my hair in a black t-shirt just so that my hair can dry because I did wash it. I'm about to start my skincare. Show you guys the products that I use and what's been working for me. So the first thing that I go in with is this Thayer's Witch Hazel. This is the unscented alcohol free toner. This toner is so so good. I love it. It really moisturizes my skin. I just love it for that reason. Oh so it is 12.49 right now. I have to be at the party by 3, so I have like 2 hours, if that. So let me just get started. After I go in with the toner, I go in with the Ordinary um, Silic Acid 2% Solution. Looks like this. It's for, for blemish prone skin. So like, oh, my baby just texted me good morning. Okay. <laughs> It says apply one or two drops. And that's what I do. One, two. I got it because it said it was for blemish prone skin. And I have a lot of like dark spots as you can see. Are you guys liking this background? I mean, I just propped something up so that you guys wouldn't have to see my ugly ass wall. Because that's the reason that I didn't post my last video because of my wall. Like I just, I wasn't happy. I didn't like it. So I just prop something up i need to go to the fabric store and buy some like fabrics oh okay the next thing i'm like talking okay the next thing i'm gonna use is the inky list beta hydroxy acid i noticed that i'm using like a lot of acids but anyway it helps to unclog pores fight breakouts and blackhead and minimize excess oil i just apply a little bit not too much that was kind of a lot I bring it down to my neck. Now, after this, I go in with my Glow Recipe Pineapple Sea Bright Serum. It's for brightening and soothing. It has pineapple, vitamin C, and chamoli. Chamoli? I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce that. When I smell this, it reminds me of like my childhood. 
if that makes sense like the smell that i smelled before the only thing about this um it looks like this by the way it's so cute it looks like a little pineapple but the only thing i don't really like about this is the applicator because it like whenever i go in and grab some more product it just like doesn't grab it like i have to like i have to pinch it a couple of times for, for it to actually grab some product i love it because it feels kind of tacky on the skin it just feels really nice really lightweight smells good i'm gonna go in with the ola hendrickson banana bright eye cream looks like this a lot of people use this eye cream and i can see why this cream is so bomb if you're not using an under eye cream what are you doing because Honestly, your eye, your under eyes get so dehydrated. At least for me, like I have dark circles. So this just really brightens everything up. Like, do you guys see the difference? Like, oh, I just love it. And it's so moisturizing. I even put it on my eyelid. And honestly, it's good to start at a young age to use like good skincare. And I wish I would have started way sooner, but hey, it's never too late. I'm just glad that I hopped on the bandwagon when I did. After the eye cream, I like to go in with moisturizer. And I just used the Cetaphil Daily Advanced Lotion. And I literally take a little bit of this, not much, just like that. That was too much, to be honest, for me, for my liking. So I'm just going to go in with that and apply it all over my face. Down on my neck. Don't forget to moisturize your neck. As you guys can see, like, my skin is already looking so much more glowy from when I, before I started applying any of this. I just love my skincare products at the moment. They just make my skin feel so good and they make it look so good. They, I just look like I have like life in my face. After I go in with the moisturizer, I like to top it off with some age minimizing 3D day cream with SPF 30 and this is by Mary Kay. My mom gave this to me um, a little while ago. This is the daytime cream. I also have a nighttime cream that I use at nighttime. I like this because it has SPF. SPF is so important, especially like during the summer. It's important throughout the year, like don't get me wrong, but like especially in the summer, that sun be beaming and you don't want your skin to get all wrinkly and dried up like a dried grape. What are those called? Like raisins? You don't want to be a raisin, okay? The SPF will protect your skin from sun rays and it will prevent your skin from getting wrinkly at a young age. It will keep you looking youthful. Yeah, it will protect your skin, girl. So don't sleep on SPF. And the last thing I do is just apply some lip balm. And that's it, you guys. That's all I do for my skincare routine at the moment. If you guys want like a more in-depth of like what these products do, then I can do that for you guys as well, like an updated skincare routine video. I'm going to let these products sit for about 10 minutes or so before I actually begin to do my makeup. Just so that my skin absorbs all the product. I'm going to go ahead and style my hair and I'll be right back. Alright y'all, I really don't have that much time. My mom just let me know that we're leaving at 2.30. It's 1.18 right now, so I have like an hour to get ready and finesse this. I'm not going to do like extra ass makeup. I wanted to but i don't have the time so i'm not going to before i start my my makeup i like to just spray my face with this mario badescu skincare facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea okay i'm back i did my makeup no i didn't record me doing my makeup because i i am late i'm super late actually it is already 3 13 the party started at 3 i haven't even left my house i don't know how far this place is my mom left so now I have to drive there and I really didn't want to drive but I took too long to get ready but bitch my makeup looks so fucking good now I'm about to change into my fit put my accessories on I'm gonna change real quick and I'm gonna see you guys in a little so now bit now I am on my way 
to my uncle's party and I'm like so sweaty. It's disgusting. All right, I'm gonna be on my way to my uncle's and I'll catch up with you guys when I get there. Congratulations! Okay, <laughs> so we are at my uncle's party. Say hi. You're gonna be in my video. So this is the food, it looks delicious. My God, my makeup's messing up. My eyes water so much, you like the mess up. <laughs> <laughs> oh guys, I'm about to cry. My eyes are watering. <laughs> hey, what's up, you guys? It is now one in the morning, so it's basically the next day. I was about to get in bed when I remembered that I hadn't filmed an outro for this video, so here I am filming an outro. I'm so tired right now. I just want to lay down and go to sleep. It's been a long day. It was super fun. I had a lot of fun. I love dressing up going out I've been taking pictures I don't know there's just something about dressing up and looking cute that I love and puts me in such a good mood and I've just been feeling so happy and like body positive I've just been loving myself because hey like if you don't love yourself then who will you know but yeah that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did Leave a comment down below, like this video, and if you haven't already, check out my previous video where I perm my eyelashes. As you guys can see, I haven't permed them again since the last time I permed them, but this is a little update of what they're looking like. There is still somewhat of a little curl. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to re-perm them soon because I just love the way they look when... I don't have any makeup on and they're just like curled. I don't have to do anything to them. They look so pretty. I was like closing out the vlog and then I just go off track and talk about something else. I'm tired. Okay, I'm going to sleep now. See you guys in my next video. Bye.